Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will going to show you the month name function. So month name function is useful whenever you want to extract the name of the month from, from a given date. So if this is what your requirement is then you can use the month name function. So let's see in the script how we can use this. So here we have some fictional data for related to the invoice state. Let's say on these states we have received the invoice. Now we need to identify the respective month. So for example, this is 28th of March. This is uh, 10th of December. This is 5th of Feb, so on and so forth. All right, so how we can do this uh, maybe INV underscore month is the new table name which I can give use the load statement star star will going to take all the columns from this table which is INV ID and INV date as I will reference it this table in the resident keyword soon and now I will use the month name function and month name function is very simple you just have to specify the uh, INV date or whatever date field that you have and it will simply give me the month name um, so as month underscore name resident your timetable and then since all of these columns are in this table so we don't need the timetable so what you say drop table temp table that is it save and load all right come to analysis section and I will create one table chart by dragging this table over here adding the dimension which is first invoice date which is on which we have applied the month name function and then the column where the function is specified so dimension and month name and you can see Fab 2019 March to MAR March 2019 MAY 2019 so some probably you may be wondering from where the names are coming uh, or if let's say you want February the complete name well in that case what you need to do is you need to come to this main script which is a default script and over here you have the month names um, pet the variable so here the Jan, Fab, March, APR, May so if you will change it to January the complete name it will change it accordingly so that's that's how you that's how you know click is interpreting it the front end over here okay so that's as you can see very straightforward but uh, there is another parameter sorry if I go back to the period number so over here in the date function if I specify period like uh, we want the month name for the next period of uh, that is uh, based on the current date so if it is March then April so we can specify one the positive one that means move uh, move to the next month save it load it close it come to analysis section and uh, you will see that earlier it was Feb the 5th of Feb it's now March so and all the dates have moved to one month so 10th of December 2019 is moved to Jan 2020 all right and similarly you have the minus one and this way you can have minus one that means go back to one month or two months or three months based on minus one minus two and minus three respectively load the data and close it come to analysis and now the fab is now change to Jan. so this way as you can see it's very straightforward but very useful function and I also showed you how you can change the formatting of it so that whatever you need out of the month name function you can get it for the presentation of your dashboard so that's about it in this video and I will meet you in the new video with the new topic